I'm Patrick Bailey with IQList.com. Today is August 6, 2020. And in this video, I'm going to be showing off a PVC line separator that I designed. Okay, let's just get into it. So I made this little <coughs> PVC line separator because I'm doing sprinkler in the backyard and I just want to separate them out. So I can do things like this. And this gets pounded in the ground um, like that, which I'll show in more detail here. But I already posted up on Prusa, so I'll put a link in the show notes. It's uh, now it happens to be number 37856. You can go check it out, download it if it interests you. But also on there, I did this on OpenSCAT. So the OpenSCAT is on there. But also I put the OpenSCAT as a gist out on GitHub, which might be an easier way to download. And I'll put a link in the show notes to that too. Um, and before I start jabbing about all that, let me go over the details. So the details, um, let, me go over the data. let me go over the numbers. So the numbers are, it took two hours and seven minutes to print. It took 1.8 cents of electricity, and it weighs 0 0.03 kilograms for three. Um, and that comes out at $20 per kilogram. That comes out to 60 cents. So total cost, 62 cents to print this guy out. And to go over the open SCAD, kind of go over it briefly here. I'm thinking I want to go do a live video uh, at some point and kind of go show how to rebuild this. Because this, I love OpenSCAD because some designs lend themselves to it because you can go in here and if you design it well and you do the code correctly, you can edit things. So like here, I come in here and I can change the size of these. So I can make that a 20 and actually design this in such a way that it'll actually be on the bottom because I want it to be staked in. And so if you have different sizes, I want them to rest on the ground. So I actually have it designed in such a way that it actually goes down. Um, I can change the spacing between them. Like right now I have a space of eight, but if I want to make them more separate, I could do things like that. If I want to change the size, I could do that. So you can, you can do all kinds of really interesting little things in the code. And you're not limited to three. I can come back here and say, you know what? I only want one. Boom. Oh, look at how ugly that is. <laughs> I guess I need to redo my code, huh? That is a good example of why I should probably do a live video to figure out what's wrong with that. Ah, or I can do two. So you can do two, three, four, five, whatever you want. And you can mix and match and do whatever you want. So the code works like that. Um, there's some other places where I broke it. Let me see. If I do a 60, I think that breaks it. Yep. Ba-boom, broken. So there's some other stuff I need to fix on this code that's not quite perfect. But the nice thing is, you know, done right, and I guess in this case I'm half right. Within a certain perimeter, I'm okay. You fix that spacing. That, ah, that's just cool. Plus, I think there's other aspects to this. Like, no, I, I'm i using this right now. I think it's overkill, because I'm just trying to separate the sprinkler lines in my yard. Um, just because I don't want them hitting each other, claiming each other, there's that fear that I have, especially if they're near each other, um, that if you, even though they're gonna be buried, they should be just fine, but I don't want them hitting each other because I think there's that potential where they could crack over the years, but I'm, it's overkill. I might be exaggerating. There might really not be an issue, but also it's nice to organize them. But I can see something like this. Like if I take away these spikes, that might have a use. Maybe there's something that people could design where they want to, you know, hang things or, or do pipes or something like that where they want to, you know, have this repeatable design. So OpenSCAD really lends itself to that. It's really cool. So I am stoked about it. I like what I'm happy even though I, it's somewhat negligible on its usefulness for what I'm actually doing it for, I would love doing the OpenSCAD design for this. It was kind of fun getting those shapes in. You can see how it's angled right here to make a spike. And it's functional for what I need. So I think I will come back here in the near term, a week or two, maybe earlier, we'll see, and do a live video and actually go over building this from scratch, which would be really fun. So... Anyway, just want to share that. There's the details of that. Uh, oh, and la one last thing. We'll actually go outside once it stops raining. It's raining right now. And just do a quick video showing it what I've done, what's out there right now, just to see how I'm actually using it. We'll see how this audio comes through. It's a little windy right now. And we're having we're in a construction zone, so you might hear some beeps. Good timing. Okay, so here's what I got so far. And it's almost needless, I mean, after I've used it, but I think like having this break and whatnot, and maybe in different climates it might be a little better. But there we are with the three. So I have the three right here. So I'll just... As it pops back up. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> there we are. Ground's a little soft right now. But, hey, uh, I'm going to organize things. More than anything, I kind of like just doing the project, but <sighs> so much backyard work to do this summer. But hey, it works. I just like Open S Cat. I just wanted to say that. I love Fusion 360 for a lot of things, but there's just something nice about OpenSCAD and putting all the three pieces together in a program. And I just wanted to say that out loud.